got a nice sharp scalpel here. I've got a set of tweezers. I'll just grab the other side of the X-Act nice and gently. I certainly think there's something inside here because of the weight and because I look through it. And once we start to open this up, all will be revealed. So let's look at the spider tank, and this is actually some time after I uh, cleaned out those four bins. This is two months after that time period. A lot of the spiders that I added to the tank after clearing out the bins, well, there's been a bit of a history to them. I've added a lot of ants in here over the last few weeks. It's been very curious of what the ants have got up to. And, uh, well, basically this tank here is at week 10, if you want to think about it, at, since the time it started. Warning. The warning on this spider video has been removed. Even though there are spiderlings in there, I will be risky and I'll remove the lid. There's a group of spiderlings there, but at the moment they're not very active. All sorts of spiders getting around in there. Really anything I found in the garden was being added to the tank. I can see a red back spider there, not wanting to come out. She's a little bit recluse. There she is. Ooh, she's gone. I can see another smaller female there. She's a lovely one. She's awake. Oh, she's having a go at my tweezers there too. She's feisty, isn't she? What a little stunner. The big alpha female that was in the tank, uh, this was her corner and these are her egg sacs. I think these are still yet to hatch. But very sadly, I do believe that is the alpha female there. She's dead, she's been wrapped up in web, and I dare say she's been killed by another redback. In fact, there's a cluster of three dead spiders there. There's a redback, there is a garden orb spider there. And one of those, well, great big stick sort of spiders, whatever they're called, I've just totally forgotten at the moment. Down on the deck, I threw some fruit in there because there's all sorts of critters living in this tank, and I'm a bit curious what's underneath here. Ah, uh, that's where all the little critters from the tank have got to. I'm not sure if you noticed, uh, but there are, yes, the ants are under there as well. I'll just put that back so they're safe again. If I look on the side here, you can see, I'm calling it classic ant activity by these burrowings and stuff. Uh, if you ever have a thing called an ant farm, uh, you'd be very familiar with looking at things like this. Over the last couple of weeks, I did put a time-lapse camera over this tank. I was mainly concentrating on the large alpha female redback spider, which has now sadly passed away, and also trying to see what the ants were going to do in this tank, because I tell you what, I put a lot of ants in here, and what I expected to happen didn't really happen. I look at each corner of the tank now. This redback spider here is the largest female that is now in the tank. I wouldn't call it the largest sort of redback you're going to find, but it's a nice size. Yeah, she's quite feisty, this one, and if I put the tweezers near her, she'll want to try and bite it. She won't like that. She thinks something's attacking her. Very, very redback. Lovely girl, that one, isn't she, eh? Beautiful. The next corner was what I called the penthouse apartment in this tank. I can't see any mature redbacks there. There are spiderlings there. I can see something that's dead there, or a couple of things that are dead, and two redback spider egg sacs. I wonder what those little redback spiderlings are scheming. Hmm. I tell you what, I bet you it's not very nice. The next corner, it's a bit of a complex corner, this one, because I can see redback spider spiderlings. In fact, there's lots more spiderlings down this way. There's a redback spider egg sac there, and I think that might be little teenager all grown up. Uh, yes, the spiders do grow, and let's see if she's feisty or not. Yes, she's looking like... She's nice and feisty. Yes, she's going to grow up to be a nice big girl. Now, apart from her being there for egg sac, there's a stack of spiderlings uh, down on the leg going up to her home. Can you tell the male and female when they're this young? Maybe you've got very, very good spider eyes, but what has surprised me is, is how little activity is coming from these spiderlings. Normally when I've got lights on and stuff, these guys razz up and really start moving, but... They don't seem to be doing it this time around. Very strange. These redback spiderlings are at that cute stage, but sadly that cute stage doesn't last that long. Have a very careful look at what's going on there. It looks sort of cute and fancy and very family friendly, doesn't it? Well, let's be reminded these spiders come out of the egg sac as killers from day one. They have an instinct in them that will either make them the adult spider that we had seen in the tank here, or they will be eaten by brother or sister. And if you look very carefully there, I can certainly see spiderling eating spiderling. So what's for breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Hey, it's gonna be little sister or little brother every single time. It's certainly a grand example of survival of the fittest, or maybe a very extraordinary example of sibling rivalry.
This is the final corner here. There's three egg sacks here. I think all up there were maximum five or it might have been six. Uh, there's a bug caught there and I can just see the remnants of this female redback spider which has now passed away of her nest. A very typical nest she put in this part here. With the egg sacs here, I think this one is about to hatch. That one has got the dark markings on it. Um, I think the next one would be that one there that I'm just poking at the bottom. And this one here, I think it's still got basically eggs which are developing. And if I put a torch behind here, sometimes that can illuminate what's going on inside an egg sac. I'm not sure how well that's showing. I was noticing that when I did the time lapse. I was putting torches behind things. I could, you can't really see through those two at all. This one here, you can just see through the top of the egg sac there. But down the bottom bit, I think there's stuff going on inside that egg sac there. Okay, it's, I don't think that's empty. I think there's stuff going on inside there. But these two here, yeah, it's definitely some, um, well, some very mature spidlings in these. And not far from hatching. And I remember when I did the spider tank study, often the female redback spider will leave something up near the eggs. Uh, so when the spiderlings hatch, they've got a little start-off meal to nibble on. My crikeys, I do believe I've just found that grey widow that has been put into the tank here many weeks ago now. It looks like she's also laid an egg sac because it's got a spiky look to it. Let's take a closer look. That's as close as I can get to seeing that spider. It is actually not that dissimilar looking to the metal structure in the tank here. She's a survivor. She's done very well. Now looking very carefully here, and I will point it out, I do believe that that there is her egg sac. It is a very different looking egg sac to what a redback spider would lay up. It does have a spiky structure around. I remember people talking about this in the comments when we first found the spider. But that grey widow will have to contend with many, many thousands of redback spiderlings that will be looking for something to eat. I wonder how she will fare. What's worrying me is I'm noticing there's a fungus on many things inside the tank here. And I also notice there's an egg sac on the ground that has got fungus on it. Maybe it's been abandoned, maybe it's got spiderlings in it. Maybe I need to take a look. That's the egg sac there. I'm a little bit curious about why it's been dumped. I'm saying this egg sac has got something in it. Uh, number one, it feels like it's got a bit of weight to it. If I put a torch to it, uh, the, I can't see through it. When they're empty, they get a, a lighter colour to them. They're the size of this. It's actually the largest egg sac that I had in the tank there. It's nearly, well, it's about 12 millimetres wide and then Imperial. Yeah, it's getting up near half an inch in width. So let's see what's inside this egg sac. What worries me here is this white marking on this, the fact the egg sac has been dumped and it was down the bottom of the tank. I certainly think there's something inside here because of the weight and because I looked through it. And once we start to open this up, all will be revealed. Uh, if it has got spidlings, which are alive, I will get them back into the tank. If they have passed away, well, it sort of adds to the mystery about what's going on inside the tank. There's definitely something in here. There's spidlings in here. But are we going to see them dead or alive? Oh, crikeys. They're alive. I think they're alive. In fact, I'm sure they're alive. There's the spidlings moving in here. Let me just get this opened right up. There we go. Oh, crikeys, there's a lot of spidlings in here. Man, uh, but are they in good shape? This is the big question here. Uh, I don't know, I don't think, I don't think they're in that good a health, to be honest here. Let me just clear this away here, and we'll just see what goes on. I've seen this a couple of times, but it still freaks me out. There is a lot of spiders in that egg sac. Very scary. I'm sure other times I've done this, the spiders have really taken off and been quite sprightly. Well, there is a stack of spiders in there, I can tell you. It was a big egg sack. It was from the alpha female. I mean, look at that. It is just amazing. And what I should do, and do the right thing, is get this egg sack uh, back into the spider tank because uh, the egg sac seemed to have been dumped, but from what I can see, those spiders uh, certainly seem to be okay. I think the way I describe it is they look groggy. I don't think they're 100% in health. Uh, maybe some spider expert out there will tell me what's going on here. Uh, 
I'm sure when I've done this before, the spiders have been very peppy, would be one word I could use. Uh, these guys here seem to be a little bit sleepy. I don't know how to break it to these guys that their mum's passed away, but maybe I can get them with a little surrogate family in there, can't I? And I'll just carefully pick this up. They're basically still all on the egg sack. Quite miraculous, and I'll get them into the spider tank in a nice spot, maybe down with their little brothers and sisters down there. Somewhere down there. There you go, how lovely. Family reunion. There we go, that's much better. I had to be like the red-backed spider mum there. I've actually given birth to a whole stack of red-backed spiders. But look at those larger spiderlings just below there. They're thinking to themselves, Hey guys, look what's for dinner. Yummy! Ah oh, yes, I can see the word is out. There's a very easy meal to be had. There's larger red-backed spiderlings are coming up and having a bit of a, well, I'll just say a meet and greet in a very nasty way. I'd hate to think how many red-back spidlings are in that egg sac because that's one of the larger egg sacs that I've found. When you get up to that size, there would be multiple hundreds of spidlings in there, I'm sure of it. If you look right in the middle of the screen there, those new spidlings were whiter in colour. The uh, older spidlings are darker in colour. And I'm pretty sure I can see, uh, yes, well, there's a meal being had or about to be had. And I think there's going to be lots more of that that goes on between the older spidlings and those much younger ones. You know, some people say looking at aquariums and watching fish is interesting, and yes, I can I can see that, but I'll tell you what, looking at a spider tank and the way spiders operate, I'm saying that's far more interesting, and uh, very much a different pace of action as well. There are times when nothing happens, and then there's very, very dynamic times uh, that happen. In the funny way, in a small scale, this is a very dynamic time. I'm not sure you can see lots of ants escaped during this video, but I've actually got an escapee uh, spidling there. It's very small, and I'll just get him or her, and I'll get it back into the tank, like a good boy. The spider tank is very interesting. Uh, I have become comfortable with these spiders, but I'm not complacent, okay? I'm not silly enough to go in there and put one of these spiders into my hand. I'll get the lid back on here, and I will set up a time-lapse camera onto that new spidling activity. I hope you enjoyed looking at the red back spider tank. It's always exciting to look in there. And it was a couple of days back we had a horrible uh, red dust storm. And I had some shenanigans in the dust. And I kept thinking to myself, that dust is full of spiderlings. And oh, cr crikey's knows what else. Because this is the time of year when the spiderlings are coming out. Uh, we also had a massive windstorm that caused all sorts of damage in the suburb where I live. It was really, really ferocious winds the day after the dust storm. And again, I thought to myself, my crikeys, that is just going to be more and more spiderlings getting pushed around. So I dare say my backyard is going to be reinfested with these redback spiders, which have come in from basically out of space. I know some of you might laugh at that, but I'm being deadly serious.